What's up? Today is training day. We're going to train some men up how to be dominant men. This is the course that I'm working on. I'll be working on it all week. Today is the easy go price. What I will do is everyone who buys this course, I will knock something off of Talk Dirty to me. So once you go ahead and buy it, I'll just send you a discount link to Talk Dirty to me. Now, this course is going to be very different. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do is put down the journey that I have taken. I grew up no father in the home. There were many men in the neighborhood, which I learned from modeling, but I didn't have any direct influence. I had my grandfather, Amos McDaniel. He dropped a little knowledge, but he dropped older man game to me. He never gave me the game. So what, this, what you should expect from this course is to be healthier, wealthier, and mentally strong. Because this is where the game is. I looked at many of the things I've shared with you guys about like when I developed the Craigslist marketing course. That was 90 days of hard work. One of the things that happened to me as I became a dominant man was I learned the value of hard strategic work. Just working hard for the sake of working hard is not where the business is. But I learned the value of strategic work. Whatever I work on for any prolonged period of time, I have success. And I need to teach you guys this because uh, if you're red pill or mig toe, you probably don't want to take this course because we will have none of that philosophy in the course. When you become a dominant man and you get a lot of women, you're not going to feel disgruntled at women because you know with the red pill and the mig toe channels, all I see are complaints. I don't see any solutions. Female nature is what it is. They're not going to change because this is biologically driven in them. This is how women are supposed to be. And they're supposed to weed out short men and weak sperm, bad genes. They're designed to do that. And thank goodness we have the internet where you can get game to get around that. Because I don't think it is worth the time to continually diss female nature. You're like, you'll talk about it. You have to have a conversation about it. But to go on and on and on and on, women are like this, women are like this, they're all like this, that's counterproductive. And I was in that space, but I started making changes. I remember I got a lot of tail in the East Point house. And it's because after I did the Craigslist, not the Craigslist, Scheme Incorporated, I got the job at Rent a Crate. My confidence was epic. I went ahead on Monster.com, put up five resumes, got a bite, got a job with a starting base salary of 38K, adjusted for income, that's like 55,000 today, plus commission. So I was walking around you know, feeling myself, I was very confident. I remember there was this girl at my house, got hooked up through her friend. We went to lunch, later on in the day she came to my house. I took out my dangling, put her hand on it and told her I was gonna tap that ass. And that's what I did. That's how confident I became. The confidence came from achievement. Not me standing in the corner, I'm confident, I'm confident, I'm confident. No. And this is the things I'm going to teach you. And also, in this course, I'm going to put in some of the BDSM stuff. Because I see a lot of people on YouTube talking about the Dom game. And they've prostituted something. Because when you become a BDSM dominant male, and you get with a woman who's naturally submissive, that's like the best match in the world. Their goal in life is to please you and make you happy. That's their goal in life. 
So it's a very different type of relationship. Everyone's not going to move over there because everyone's not mentally oriented to it. But for those who are, this will give you a lot of information about the lifestyle and how to conduct yourself in this situation. Because one of the things that I have learned is from the Craigslist protocols is the desire is still there. These people are still there. They're still searching. And also, being a dominant man is a healthier way of living. You're not looking over your shoulder. Being a dominant man in the world of Me Too is not a problem. If anything, it's an asset. Because you're going to lay out your intentions straight up. Like, bam, put your cards on the table. This is what I'm about. This is what I'm doing. And if you don't like it, I have no need for you in my life. That's how you're going to start talking to women. This is how you're going to be. And your energy is going to change. Like my energy changed. I remember after I got into the East Point house, my friends were like, well, you seem a little different. It was like, because I was more, way, way more confident than I got the rent a great job, you know, the panel systems, then I got a business environment job, and I started making that money. It the results are what gave me confidence. And we're going to put you through a rigorous process of self discovery and personal development. Because when you finish this course, you'll be healthier, you'll have more money. And you'll be mentally stronger. I can look back. You know, something that happened. Uh, one of these non-relationships I had. The girl died this week. And it was real interesting that she died alone. Did she have anyone, like, mourning over her that was not family or a girlfriend. And it was uh, very anticlimactic because I was like, man, she died? She had a stroke two months ago and then some other, maybe due to complications, she died. You will begin to look back because when I got out of the hospital, I was in such a dominant state that I went through all of my Gmail accounts, looking at pictures, looking at conversations and just looking at the things that I've done. And I was like so proud that I had done these things, that I was able to create these relationships because I felt I could do it. When you become a dominant male, you will ask no one for permission to do anything. You will, you know, I rather beg for forgiveness than ask for permission. That will be your core. And you will find that you'll be taking liberties and doing things and it works out. I can't remember how many times I've done something that was inappropriate and nothing happened to me. Nothing. But we're going to get into the metaphysical. We're going to get into daily routines. We're going to get into a lot of stuff. So the link is below for those who want to participate. And every day, dominant male content will be dropping in the course. Um, I may even hire someone to use as a practice prop for some of the um, things. I got to think about that because that's going to, well, I'm using Disruptive Mail to host this course and the Stripe account's already been terminated. So we'll teach you guys a lot a whole lot. I won't hold anything back. Step by step, what I went through to go from a guy who wasn't getting the results that he wanted in life. And this is more than women. You know, when I was in that boarding house, I was not getting money. I wasn't getting respect. I was in the worst way ever, and I made that journey to become the dominant male that I am today. 
and the your physical presence is going to change. People are going to know there's something different about you if you do the work. You do the work, you will be able to walk in a room and people will know there's just something different about you. Chicks will respond differently to you. And this is a process because it's a transformation. So the link to the course is below. It's uh, $199. Probably going to go up. So go ahead and get in. There's three lessons that's there for you to start working. And like I said, this week I will work on this. And if I work on something else, I will keep doing this because we need more masculine men. We need more men who are able to articulate their vision and more importantly, execute on that vision. That is what we're going to be talking about. This course is going to be about building men, taking men to a different level, taking men to their optimum potential because you have a, a lot of unrealized potential because you don't have the right information. And once you get the right information, it's like being, it's like the cheat codes of life. Once you get the right information, because when I was in East Point House and I was knocking these chicks out, part of me felt a little bad because I wasn't raised that way. I wasn't raised that way to have a chick who was blowing me. She holds her head up and like, are you seeing other chicks? And I'm like, of course. And I pushed her head back down. I was gangster with it. And part of me, the duality of humanity, you have the little angels, the good angel, the bad angel. The good angel was like, Linda, you shouldn't be doing that. And I'll be like, dump him off and just keep doing it because I love the results. The results from this transformation are so tangible and palatable compared to the none results of being an average man of you know not knowing what the sexual underworld is not being part of certain cliques because once again and I, I will have more stories on this channel because I'm probably going to do story time of the first time I dominated a woman I remember that and I'm going to make it YouTube friendly so let's grow this channel let's grow this community and I'm thinking about a Facebook group, but it's got to be way different because I don't want guys in there posting complaints and simp comedy or whatever outrages them. So don't, don't hold me to that. You know, I want to do a Facebook group, but I'm going to have to see how this thing goes before I establish it because we're going to create a movement. You know, we're going to talk about a lot of stuff. And being a dominant man, if you want to get married, you get married. This is none of that play up for life, red pill, MGTOW stuff. Because later on, and this will be additional information, so it will be an additional cost. I'll give you information how to protect yourself. Where if you want to get married, you cannot get financially raped. So all of this stuff is coming. So to get how to be a dominant man, to go ahead and uh, once again... What I'll do is just one by one, I'll send out coupons to everybody who signs up to the course. And let's go ahead and rock and roll because there will be some stuff in here that if you're a good Christian, this may offend your sensibilities because uh, we're going to get deep with it. This transformation is so powerful. It's so awe-inspiring that you may not even recognize yourself after you make the change. So with that, go below, sign up, get busy. There will be more coursework tomorrow. And I'll see you guys in the next video.